Alrighty, good morning guys. Welcome to day day four and four days of hiking. Uh, pretty much this entire trip is hiking, so another day, another hike. Um, this morning we are doing, well, we're heading to Hanging Rock, um, which is pretty epic rock formation uh, on the edge of some cliffs. Uh, involves a bit of a fire trail walk, I think 5k's in, 5k's back which I'm happy to do because it's one of the more fam uh, kind of more famous parts uh, of the Blue Mountains but yeah should be should be a pretty epic um, final section this fire trail I mean it's getting kilometers in my legs which I'm not going to complain about um, but yeah hopefully I don't know it's meant to be relatively flat so hopefully we can smash through the, the fire trail and spend the rest of the time just exploring at the end which should be pretty epic but yeah let's head off in the gross wilderness gross gross yeah um because i think what this lookout kind of overlooks is the gross valley gross gross i don't know how to say it probably how it says gross uh but yeah from what i've seen some pretty epic views so and a little bit of a challenge for me maybe uh a little bit of a gap over a 20 meter drop to get to the, the hanging rock. That should be pretty interesting. Just, a ra just some random bike sitting there. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad trail to ride. A bit up, bit of down, but not crazy. Um, but yeah, a little bit out. 2.2k left to the turn off down that heads down to the viewpoint so yeah making pretty good time Hanging rock, the rock that I'm gonna be jumping across. <laughs> yep, yeah, so that's the rock that I'm jumping on. There's the gap. So we'll see how I go. It's a bit windy, so I don't know how far out I'll get, but whoa. 
But look at this. That's an incredible spot, but my word does it give you jelly legs. Like, my legs were shaking when I was there. Holy jeez. Hey anyway guys, so I accomplished probably one of my bucket list items in Australia, did hanging rock. As you can see, walked all the way out there. Not all the way to the point, because that like, is scary. Um, but yeah, how big would you say the drop is? From there, all the way down there. It's pretty insane, but I'd say the more scary thing that a lot of people say is more scary is the jump across. The jump across is fine. I could virtually just step across. I think from here you can kind of see what I was standing on. It was probably about 30 to, 30 to 45 centimeters wide, but it felt like it was about five centimeters wide. After a marvelous, um, I think I was out there for 50 minutes, just exploring all of the rocks, all the lookouts and stuff. And Will I come again? 100% I'll come again, it's epic. The only thing I will say is, if you're afraid of heights, or don't like heights at all, don't come anywhere near it. Like, you can go to lookout, but don't try and do the rock. Because it is adrenaline inducing, shall I say, or it's a bit scary if you've got vertigo or are afraid of heights. Um, like even, like I'm not afraid of heights, but my leg, my knees were wobbling when I was on the edge there. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible as I said. Now, time for the five, six K walk back to the car, which after that is gonna be pretty boring. Hey, so I got a quick little fact for you. So, so if you watched yesterday's video, which I'll link up there, um, you would have seen the canyons that were all around Scenic Club and the canyon today. Well. Would you believe that it's actually the world's largest canyon? Like, you know the Grand Canyon in America? 
everyone thinks it's massive. Well, the Grand Canyon here is absolutely massive when measured by width. So I think from what I remember, the canyon width here is 33 kilometers at its most, uh, at its widest. And the Grand Canyon is 32. Maybe something different, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, it's mad how big this canyon is. And it's also, from what I remember hearing, the whole of the Blue Mountains, like the canyons and all that, is bigger than the country of Lebanon, which is mad. It shows how big Australia is, and it also shows how big our national park, some of our national parks are. But yeah, almost back at the car, and then time to get some lunch, because I am pooped. Okay, made it back to the cars. All done. Just heading into Blackheath um, to get a bite to eat and a drink. And then might do Bridal Vale Falls and Evans Lookout. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, first let's get something to eat because I'm starving. Okay, I think after pretty good lunch, nice sandwich, good coffee, we're on our final hike of the trip. And I think we're just gonna do cliff top track from Gobbit Sleep across to maybe Evans Lookout or do an additional side trip or something. But yeah, pretty incredible out here. I did this walk at sunrise with my mum and brother last time in the middle of summer. And by the time we got to one of these lookouts, I was dripping in sweat. So the weather is a nice change. Still absolute phenom phenomenal weather, like 12, 13 degrees, sunny, clear, it's so nice. I think this is going to be the turnaround point because it's already two o'clock and we got some I need to get back to the accommodation so I can pack and just get overall get ready get sorted for tomorrow so yeah heading back to Govet Sleep this bit is pretty nice like it'd be nicer if it was close to the cliff face but I mean it's just the way these these go I got my cliff top action earlier today but yeah, time to head back. Uh, should take me hopefully only 40 minutes, but good to just keep the legs moving, make them more tired. And yeah, so far so good. Okay, almost back at the car park. Got about 15 minutes, so I might have a look at the other viewpoint, but on the way back it was way harder. It wasn't too bad though. Um, but yeah, just gonna check out this other viewpoint and then head back to Katoomba.
but look at that view. Like, that's the thing about Canberra. To get views even close to this, you've got to hike up and then hike back down. Whereas here, you're already on top of them, on top of the plateaus. So you just got to walk, walk up and down a tiny bit. It's kind of cheating, in my opinion. No, it's it's epic just to change it up. Like, look at the, the can you kind of see the blue, bluey mist and then I think a bit of a uh, vegetation slide over there. And then have a look. Hopefully you can see it down there. But yeah, absolutely incredible. Now time to head get back to the car. day technically of the road trip other than driving home and picking Zane up um, today was probably the best day that I've had on this trip it was pretty epic especially jumping on hanging rock and all that um, but yeah can't wait to do one of these sort of little mini adventures again sorry there's no video last week but kind of had to go on this um, to get more content for you guys but yeah Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share to your friends if anyone you think if anyone you know would like to do this hike. Definitely share it out to them. But yeah, anyway, see ya.